The full section is the core part of Cortex, which is AI contract. So why is AI contract the most critical part of Cortex? Because the functions of several block explorer introduced earlier have already appeared in the current block explorers, like etherscan.io. These are relatively basic functions. Cortex designed and developed AI contract, which can show how Cortex implements AI model uploading, data uploading, and the inference process of AI smart contracts. This is the key that makes Cortex achieving AI model on chain for the first time. First of all, there's a premise. AI contract functions, which involves uploading the AI model and the data, and then having a contract to call the model to infer the data. When using these functions, you need to pay the transaction fee. So you need to know where does the test token come from, how to transfer tokens. As you can see, we have been using Chrome for all our demonstrations. When viewing the block information, network status, and the transaction information, other browsers are also available. However, if you want to use the AI contract functions, you must use Chrome. Because Chrome supports wallet extensions, the Cortex community developed the Chrome wallet extension called Cortex Wallet. Let's enter Cortex GitHub. Under Cortex release, download the Cortex wallet and I'll demonstrate how to install it. First, open your Chrome, find the menu at the top right corner, which are these three dots, and go to More Tool, select Extensions. And at the top right corner of the page, we have a developer mode option. It is off by default. Let's switch it on. Then, three options will appear, Load Unpacked, Pack Extension, and Update. Let's pick the first one. And select the file that we just downloaded to install Cortex Wallet. Now we have successfully installed Cortex Wallet. Click on the wallet logo. Finish the registration process. Now we have got an account for Cortex testnet. So where does the test token come from? We announced our official email, testnet at cortexlabs.ai, for communicate any questions concerning the testnet, including applying for a test token. After requesting test token through testnet at cortexlabs.ai, I have received one test CTXE. We can now try out the AI contract functions. In the drop down menu of AI contract, there are four parts. The first one is upload. Below, we can see there are two options uploading data and models. Then, below, you can see the models they are already on the chain. Block represents the block this AI model is uploaded to, file size represents the size of this AI model. Contract address is the address of this AI model. Description is the AI model description given by the AI model uploader. Shape is the parameter of the AI model. The action button is used to select the corresponding model for uploading data. Click on the detail drop down menu. It will display more information about the model, such as time, URI link, upload progress, and so on. The second one is inference. Here is actually a simple contract written by the developer. The contract is to call model and infer certain data on the chain, then reach consensus over the whole network. This simple contract proves the feasibility of reaching consensus of all nodes over the whole network. The third and the fourth one are models and data. 
which are models and data that have been uploaded to the chain. You can find all the details here. After reading the information, now let's demonstrate the actual process. To be clear, in the testnet announcement, the AI part of the testnet was planned to be released in Q1 in 2019. This process is done ahead of schedule. We have completed the core part of AI testnet, but the model representing tool and other products are still in progress. Therefore, in the current beta version, AI models have to process by us before uploading. So the AI models that we're demonstrating were already processed. First, find an image of a cat or a dog, save it to your PC. I found this golden retriever from Baidu. And then let's go to upload page. Go to input data and select a file. Let's select the dog that we just find. Open it. And find the matching AI model, which is the dog cat model. Put our custom description. Gold dot. How's that sound? Save it. Then upload. At this page, let's increase the endorphin price and keep the endorphin limit as default. And then confirm. Now we wait for the miner to pack this transaction. We can view this transaction status from Cortex Wallet. When it's completed, you can view the transaction from the wallet. Now click on the we can click on the data address to check all the details for this data. And similar to data upload, select the model data and select the AI model files. The AI model contains two files. Select both of them. Open and let's keep the shape as 1, 28, and 28. The description doesn't matter here because this model has already been uploaded before. Let's click Upload. Again, let's confirm the endorphin price. Let's still keep the endorphin limit as default. And confirm. If the model is too big, more transaction will be needed to complete the uploading process. And we can still check the status in the Cortex wallet. And the transaction has been packed. We can now view this transaction. And we can click on the model address to view the details of the model. We can now infer the image that we have just uploaded. On the inference page, select the dog cat model. And press next. And select the dog image. Everything looks good and just confirm. Wait for the miner to pack this. And the whole network is trying to reach consensus and giving us the final result. The result shows that it is one which represents dog. Now it's your time to try it yourself.